Hello, this is Anton Gunn. I want to thank you for taking time to watch this video. I hope you had the opportunity to see my four part series that I call Sick Leadership. These are the type of leaders that could be poison to your organization's culture and even kill your success. If not, I want to review real quick. Sick leaders are leaders who are selfish. They're insecure, they're controlling, and they're know-it-alls. They don't like to provide any other space for anyone because of those four behaviors. Well, we have to understand that sick leadership is plaguing most of America's corporations. There was a workplace study done by Gallup in 2017 that showed that we're at a crisis point right now in most organizations because of how people think about their leaders, how they respond to their leaders, how they don't feel confident in their vision for the future or feel like they're the ones that can take them to success. They also don't feel like that the organization is really in tune to the needs and the wants of their customers. And so the whole entire place is not engaged in the way it should be. So the question is, if you have sick leaders in your organization, what do you do about them? How do you solve the crisis of failed leadership in your organization? Well, that's what I spend most of my time focusing on is how we heal organizations and bring great leaders into the place of prominence in the organization and get rid of those sick leaders out of your culture. The first thing you have to do is you have to be honest about where you are as an organization. You really have to be honest. Am I a sick leader? Or does the person that reports to me, are they a sick leader? Or the person that I report to, are they a sick leader? You really gotta look top to bottom, left and right in your organization, and be honest if you have some sick leaders. And if you have sick leaders, the second thing you need to do is you have to confront those leaders about those behaviors that are poisonous to your organization. Sometimes people don't know that they're being sick. Sometimes they don't know they're infected with these bad practices, and so they can easily correct them once we bring them to the forefront. Forefront. Sometimes leaders do know about those behaviors, but they're unwilling to change. And if they're unwilling to change, you gotta put them into a process that either change is gonna to happen to them or they're gonna to have to change their location out of the organization. That is the only way. You can't play with sick leaders. They are contagious and they'll infect the rest of the part of your organization. So you gotta be honest and transparent. You gotta bring it up, you gotta talk about it, you gotta do something about it, and then you gotta begin a process of managing those leaders out of the organization if they don't wanna get better. I wanna thank you for watching this video. Uh, please share it with others if you think it might be helpful to them. I hope you can uh, follow me on social media, find me on all my blogs. I'm happy to continue to share with you on how we create great leadership. Thank you for watching.